Hey guys, a project I've been working on is redoing a table that somebody gave us and my goal is to have it done by Thanksgiving so I'm working hard to see if I can get it done but I sanded it and I've been doing two different stains. I mixed them. Um, this one is dark walnut and classic gray and I'm hoping that it kind of gives it like a barn wood look. So here we go. I've got one last chair to sand and then I can work on staining these. First coat done on all the chairs and the second coat was done on the table. So we made a big decision over the last few days that I'll show you in just a second after we feed these. Okay, this is my... Get a little more fresh. These are all going to be the breeding mamas. Oh, they're still a little jumpy. We're trying to think of some names for them. So if you guys have any suggestions for names for goats that we're going to be keeping around for a long time, let us know in the comments. Daddy, you this one in the back will not come Daddy, in. you got it. Before, that's the one that kind of gets pushed around the most. Yeah, abused. Yeah. It looks like one of the biggest ones, though. Isn't that weird? I think it's all just like dominant, basically. Yeah. Right. Watch Lauren, she's gonna do the music. So, as you know, our rabbits, none of them had any babies. So we, we thought pretty hard about it this week, what we should do, and we decided to get rid of them, to sell them, because didn't have babies and actually next spring we'd like to do some meat chickens which would mean we wouldn't need the rabbits for meat we're going to try something else for meat so less to feed this winter and take care of we decided to sell them rabbits are great on a small scale i feel like if you're doing a few at a time to raise for meat they're a great thing to do if you're by yourself and they're easy but we kind of want to get to a little bit bigger production and so yeah meat chickens we can do 50 to 100 of them at a time and it's not a big deal. And then you just have one big butchering day, they're all ready and you throw them in your freezer and you've got food for a long time. It's hard to do 50 or 100 rabbits on that because you have to have cages for the moms and dads 
there's some people who do the whole, uh, I don't remember what they call it, but they create the little environment for all the rabbits to live together. But the problem is the moms will all fight each other. The does will all fight and fight each other and be really brutal. And so chickens are just easier. And so we're going to give that a shot. This will be the first time we've done a big batch of meat chickens. But. Well, the nice thing is, is it'll be like 12 to 16 weeks of raising them, right? Around there? Eight. How many? Eight. Are you sure it's not? the Cornish cross. Okay. Um, and then we'll be done with them. Like we'll butcher them and not have any more and we'll, feet. And we'll raise them all on grass. Yeah. And we can actually do it. We have like a half acre backyard. And so we'll do it all in our backyard and we can just move around the perimeter of our fence. And uh, and it's simple. We're close to water. Uh, there's automatic sprinklers back there that'll keep the grass growing long. And we've got plenty of space to run 50 birds. We'll make a rabbit tractor and I'll show you the plans that we're going to use for that later. And we'll probably build it here soon, so we'll make a little video of that. But we're looking forward to trying that, something new. We've done rabbits for a few years, and it was fun, but we're ready to do something different. Another one of the things we're going to get done today is uh, bringing the pump inside. And uh, I'm going to be cutting some of the pipes that it actually hooks up to. And then next year, when we set the pump up again, we're going to put unions on it so we can unscrew it and remove it more easily that way. We're also going to put our big filter inside. There we go. So really this is the only place that I need to put a union in is in this area so I can unscrew it and then the pump will be good to go. But for now, we cut. We've had a lot of people asking us about buying pork. Um, we have seven pigs right now and all of them are sold. So we're considering doing another round of a, a few of them. And if we do do that, we'd buy them here soon and they'd be ready in about six months. So I just want to gauge interest. If any of you are interested in buying half a pig or a whole pig, or you have any questions about how that whole process works and how much it would cost, um, please send us a message or let us know and we can uh, let you know the details. Um, yeah, and then we'll consider doing another batch of them right now and they'll be ready in about six months if we decide to do that. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're enjoying the stuff we're making, please subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, it makes us feel better about ourselves. And uh, if you guys are interested in pork or if you're possibly interested in uh, meat chickens next year, please let us know so we can kind of gauge interest. Hope you all have a good day. Thank you.